Watering Waves is an open world action gacha RPG, but what makes it different than the other open world action gacha RPG? Well, it's the gameplay. The combat is faster paced and is a lot tighter. So, Watering Waves is dropping on May 22nd, and I just want to discuss my game release plan. So, the game is dropping in the middle of the week. So, I took the day off on the 22nd and the 23rd, so I'm ready to go ham to stream it on my twitch.tv slash Vincente. Then I gotta prep food, right? So I might just do some food delivery since I don't wanna go out and get food. Uh, but I will see, maybe I'll just prep something like during the weekend and it'll last, freeze it and last me throughout and then to the middle of the week. All right, I tried looking around, trying to get a real confirmation on the release time that the game released. Like if you go to the Twitter account, it says May 22nd, and then at Pacific time, right? So is it is drop at midnight Pacific time? I don't know. Everything's still up in the air. I even try adding them and then asking on Twitter. Uh, hopefully I get a response or hopefully they post an actual time. So I do plan to stream an hour or two before the actual release. So whenever that drops, I'm going to get ready for that. And I'm just going to look up Wondering Waves content, prior characters. I'm going to use combos that people went through to close beta. So feel free to drop by. A uh, little background though. I enjoy playing the punching, kicking, melee, gauntlet characters and like mostly all the games. So if that's a choice, I'm going for it. And I'm excited because they actually have gauntlet as the like the basic main type starting in the game. So with that said, I'm going to be for sure meaning Jian Qing, Ling Yang, and Yuan Wu. Okay, I know it's not meta, okay? You should play who you want anyways, right? You make it meta. Play the character you want and try to make it the best that you can make it be. <laughs> so I heard somewhere that we may or may not need three teams. So given how the three gauntlet is on launch, I'm going to be using each one of them for DPS in their own team. So I'm, I'll just have Jian Qing, Ling Yang, and then Yuan Wu right there, right? And then have every other character to support them. So, Jian Qing is just going to do their big suck and blow on the enemies. <laughs> Ying Yang is just going to do auto. And then, Yuan Wu is just going to top the hat for you. He throws his hat when it's attack, man. It's pretty cool. For support so far, I think I'm just going to aim for like Verena or Baiji for support. Um, because I don't know. I haven't looked much into the support, but I heard those are like the main healer support characters. But I should give you the extra 50% of so that will at least go to Ling Yang's team, right? Extra 50% Glacial. Uh, and we get her for free for doing the main story from what I heard. So I don't have to worry too much about it. So I never actually played in the closed beta or got into the closed beta or got access to play the game at all. So the only gameplay I watched was like the character showcases that I seen on YouTube that people posted and the trailers, right? That they have an official YouTube channel. So I don't have first-hand experience uh, or any actual footage on my own. Uh, the background is just going to be like the trailer that's playing right now, you see. Uh, so from what I've seen so far, though, I'm pretty hyped for this, right? Especially that they have the gauntlet weapon type, okay? So the real plan when I'm actually playing the game is to semi-rush through the story. Like I'll watch the movie like cutscenes, like the one where they put a lot of effort in. But uh, all the chat boxes and text boxes, I'll probably just gonna skip them, breeze through them. Uh, they do have skip button in this game, right? That's one of the reasons why I click Genshin. Anyways, I want to get to the point where I can echo hunt with friends and viewers because I and do all these co-op stuff because I find it more fun to play with others than playing by myself. That's just my opinion. And I heard in closed beta, they have this thing um, when you're echo hunting, they have shinies. So in the closed beta, those are in like fixed locations. So hopefully they fix that in the game release so it actually has more ump to having one. And I also heard that you can actually equip them at the skin so you don't have to worry about getting like bad stats or whatever. And then you have to find a new shiny. Like you get shiny and it's freaking trash, man. Oh, <laughs> right. So once I get to the hang of the characters uh, that I'm working on, aka the gauntlet characters, I'll make a guide, I'll make a build guide, and I also plan to put guides on quests that I find that require more brain power than usual, like just in my opinion. Uh, if you find any quests that you get stuck on though, let me know, I'll make a quick guide. Hopefully I, I, I did it already by the time you get asked or whatnot. <laughs> Uh, so make sure to follow my channel for more Wuwa content. You know that's the way they say it now, Wuwa, instead of Wandering Waves, the user to say. <laughs> okay, anyways, 
personally, I've been trying to get back into working out harder lately. So prior to the release, I'm going to work out super hard, get super sore. So the next two days, I'll just sit and relax and I'll feel bad sitting all day because then I worked my butt off the past like two days or so prior. And in terms of monetization, I usually don't spend unless I feel like it's worth my time. Like when you think about it, if you're playing a gacha game and they're very generous, uh, you want to play more and then you also maybe want to give some money. It's like kind of reverse psychology in a way. Like if you try to make the greed, like when I see that greed, I'm like, no, I'm not spending it. But if they saw like start giving us free stuff and then like, oh, maybe I'll spend a little bit more just to finish it off or whatever. That's a lot better, okay? This is my opinion, and I, that's what I see, and that's how I feel. And in terms of this game, I do plan to get the battle pass and whatever kind of blessing monthly thing that they have. Uh, I just want to make sure I get Jian Ching and Ling Yang. Those are the five stars, right, with the gauntlets. Because um, I want to have the most fun playing this game, and when I have the most fun is when I'm using the character I want to use, okay? So I heard that they might have a selector as well. So I might not have to re-roll. But if they don't have a selector, I might consider re-rolling. But I heard the re-rolling isn't worth it because it also requires a linking email and also takes like 30 to 45 minutes just for each run. And I don't like I don't like dealing with salty emails and stuff like that. And there's the web event right now, right? Currently that is tied to your email and you can pick like one of the attack percentage not the best one okay so you still have to grind it but at least you get that like once you start the game you get the head start you get a five star echo that's attack percentage i have almost all the echoes that are in the event but i'm just missing like four like combination of purples and the five star four star three stars i think um but yeah, that's the plan. So I hope you guys have fun playing Wandering Waves and check out my stream. And I'll see you guys next time. All right. Later days.